pretty bitch. Yeah, yeah I'm a pretty bitch. Yeah. Pretty bitch. Yeah. yeah, she a pretty bitch. Yeah. Pretty bitch. Yeah. yeah, I'm a pretty bitch. Yeah. Pretty bitch. Yeah. yeah, she a pretty bitch. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, Michael Crackhead. Like, I think I'm gonna do this often or try to do this a little more often. This video is gonna be like kind of all over the place. Um, probably call it like Judy's thoughts because <laughs> that's literally all I want to do is just like record and speak on my thoughts and just get them out. Um, first thought, um. And literally, these are my thoughts as of right now. If you see me looking out and just like veering off in the distance, girl, I'm just keeping up with my scenery. You gotta keep woke about what's going on around you. Um, but and if you hear the roaring in the back, that's the air. I mean, the heat because it's cold and it's snowing in Michigan. So, first of all, a lot of people are really concerned about where I'm at. Um, I'm in Michigan right now. I am trying to work um i'm helping my friend do hair and make wigs to go uh, you know i can get some coin also um i i haven't forgot to film the life update um from the initial video it's just that y'all there's not much to update y'all on um it's still a very stressful process trying to become everything that I want to become and the trials and, trials and tribulations that I am facing on this journey to become the baddest bitch. Um, and I say um a lot, so I be so sad sometimes, though. Those are one of the thoughts that be running my like, why am I so sad, girl? Like, honestly, like, I'm going through a lot, but at the same time, it's like, I'm grateful. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not dead. I have the activity of my limbs. I'm not, uh, I'm not hungry. You know, I have a place to sleep. I have clothes um, to put on my back. It's not, it's, you know, things are there. Things are coming up for me. It's not, it's not all bad. Um, I have goals. I have goals. I have a lot of goals. There, and not so many goals I'm going to speak on, but I have goals. I have a lot of goals. Um, I want to be wildly successful. <laughs> I want to be extremely successful. And I've, y'all, I've worked so hard to get my cosmetology license. And I got them. Oh, I got them last year. But I got them, and now it's like, literally, it's like the devil be really trying to beat my ass. Like, I literally got my cosmetology license. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to, you know, move out and try to become better and work on my craft and network. And then, boom, I lose all of my belongings. Okay. Then, on top of that, um, everything that you need to work and become fab you're, you're, you're gonna, you, you don't have that neither. Um, birth certificate, um, social security card, like you need a social security card to get a job. So even down to the job that I was getting when I was in Houston or got when I was in Houston, girl, no shade. I had to finesse that. Like that lady kept asking me for us a social security card, a social security card, a social security card. And I'm like, I would pay her not mine. Cause girl, I ain't have one. <laughs> I ain't have one to give her. But um, I'm gonna work on getting a social security card, y'all. I never knew getting a new social security card was so hard. Um, my mom is working on getting me another birth certificate, but she uh, she works a lot, so I'm just waiting for her to you know have a day where she can go in late or something like that because she's literally the only one there that'll be able to get it. Um, even here in Michigan, if I was to try to get a job, I don't have a social security card. So, you know, proof of residency. I mean, proof, not proof of residence, proof of citizenship. Um, I'm trying to work on like my doll shit stuff. 
I really want to sell shirts again. They were like a really great success. Like I literally sold out within the first day and which is, I'm so grateful for. So I need to call Dion. Hey Dion. I need to call Dion about my shirts and like he's gonna, he gotta teach me some things. So I can kind of like figure out a way to do things without having to buy a bulk order. Cause that's what I was doing. I was buying bulk orders and then doing it that way and basing my sales off what I have. However, I'm going to have to learn a different way to do things now because I can't afford to buy things bulk order. Also, speaking of affording things, people are so weird. First of all, I understand that I am somewhat of a socialite and I am somewhat of like an influencer, I guess, or what so have you. I'm known. But it is so weird for people to be like, oh, why you want to just buy your stuff back? what like I, I like when people make comments like that like why you want to just buy your stuff back like it goes to show that they clearly didn't watch my video even though they like said they did um everything just happened at once and that's why i could not buy my stuff back i went well i didn't went, i didn't go broke for some odd reason my bank account was hacked and my think about it, my bank still ain't do nothing about that. Um, and then I lost my belongings. So on the money, like on the the money that I am getting in and that is coming in, and that I'm trying hard to work for and figure things out. You know how like you have money, like you have money, and you you just have your that money because you have nothing to spend it on. However. <sighs> Every piece of change that I get is spent on something like whether it's underwear, whether it's, you know, deodorant or whether it's whether it's toothpaste, whether it's razors, like most of the time it's just personal items. For the most part, I'm trying to figure out a way to get some type of saving system going on here. Um, so that I can save. <laughs> honestly it's like i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and i'm and i do want to get a job um I, I like i said before i do not really know how to work for someone because i work for myself so long however i'm not incompetent so i definitely think that i have the capability of doing so i'm just trying to figure out how long it's going to take them for me to get a new social security card so i can work and get some you know type of residual money coming in to where I could work and save, but I've been in a funk. I've been in a funk. Like, um, I miss church, which is a random thought because I haven't been to church in years. Like, I haven't been to church in years, and then the last time I went to church, <sighs> y'all still early. It's like 11 in the morning. That might be not early to y'all, but that's early to me. Um, well, I still got the seatbelt on. Um, I've been to I went to church once during the pandemic, and um, I went with my cousin to our church back home in North Carolina. And y'all, when I say like the experience I had was like astronomical, like it was really like out of this world. Um, it was so much, it was so much in the sermon, like, cause you know, the choir the singing, it wasn't really that good, but it was so much in the sermon that just kind of like touched me <sighs> early Miss church. And then for me, being like a, a churchy, being like a kid that grew up in church, disclaimer, I know that you can, um, you know, you can, you, the church is in you, your body's a temple, you know, you can call on God, you can worship God, you can have a conversation with God anywhere. But, not but, but, not but, but, not but, <sighs> however, it's nothing like being in the presence of God and or being in, in, in the temple, ch the church, and you're worshiping and, and, and 
if, if, if it is so that blockage there, having someone there that can intercede with you or that can intercede for you just makes all the world like all, make all the difference. Like that, that was that was a big help for me because my my teachings and my my teachings in church, like growing up in church and what I learned on my own, where things just didn't correspond too well. However that was always my like that that was something i loved about going to church so i had i had a hard time connecting to god on my own a lot of times because i don't know i just felt like i just for one my mind would kind of not be in the right place for two i felt like that i was doing something wrong or like i wasn't like calling on god the way like everybody else did and i it was always like i would just like I, I, it'll be hard for me to get into sentences or get some type of dialogue going between me and God, if that makes sense. So it was great to have an intercessor there to help me and to, you know, or, or, or help in any type of way with getting out what I was trying to say or, or, or sh making sure that I was covered properly in church. I miss those things, but hmm. I don't know. I would love to go to church, but I don't know how that's gonna go, for real. Um, what else is in my mind? <laughs> I'm tired of wearing the same clothes. <laughs> I'm definitely tired of wearing the same fucking clothes. Um, but it's all a test. It's all a test for my testimony. And I'm not, y'all, the funny thing is I'm not trying to be, like, deep. <laughs> I'm not trying to be deep. But for real, like, there's no other way that I can explain what I'm going through right now. Other than saying, like, it just has to be a test. Like, it's something, something great has to come out of this. Like, my dreams have to be, like, really close. Because there's no way in hell that just an average person, average person is going through this much hardship in hell and high waters. I'm this close to losing my mind. For real. Really close to fucking losing it. Um. Yeah. I'm close to losing it. <laughs> it's just annoying. Like, especially when you have, like, thoughts and goals and, and, and ambitions to, of, like, helping and like all that good stuff like when you have when you, when you have what the fuck am i trying to say when you want to do so much for other people and then the little bit that you did have in the in what you were working for or working towards is being has been ripped away from you to where now it's like you still have the same heart and all you want to do is help and all you want to do is, is is be good to people and all you want to do is you know give back give back and now you have nothing to give and even though e even in you're not having nothing to give you still try your best to give and to help and to to be some sort of you know shoulder for someone but oh, it's stressful stressful and it's even crazy because it's like when it's literally like your like that's that's your heart your soul your mind like my heart my soul my mind is helping loving caring like and then it hurt it hurts you because it's like all i want to do is is help and, 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 and care and be there for people because that's all I am used to, or that's all. That's just what I really want to do. I don't know. If, I don't know if I if I do it because that's all I'm used to doing, or if that's really just what I always want to do. Because I genuinely love helping. However, to not be able to, it hurts. Word, it hurts because it's like that's what I love. Like that's what I love doing is helping and 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 being a part of uh, and helping people become better and you know giving and now that you can't do that you're hurting 
Mind you, this is called Judy Thoughts. Uh, like I said, I know this is all over the place. However, these are my thoughts right now. It's a lot going on in this brain. Um, yeah. My mind is just discombobulated right now. It's all over the place. But, um... I'm just praying and keeping the faith that everything gonna work out. I will be the celebrity stylist that I know I am. I will be, I am the celebrity stylist that I know I am. I am the hair mogul that I know I am. I am all that I am. I am loving, I am smart, I am intelligent. I am beautiful. I am. I am wealth. I exude wealth. I am confident. I exude confidence. Um, and I am a warrior. I'm a fighter. And I am all that I am. Those are just some of my daily affirmations that I speak to myself from time to time. Even when I don't feel like those things, such as now, I still speak those things. And of course, the list goes on and 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 on. And on. But you get the picture. I really enjoy sitting in a car because I'm alone. That's a, that's that's a big goal of mine, having my own, my own everything. And I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, <laughs> girl. But y'all, for real, I'm gonna stay up. Um, it's all gonna work out for me. It's all gonna work out for the better good of me, so I can be the best. For me, so I could be the best for everybody else. And I'm gonna watch back at this video in time to come, and I'm like, damn. I remember sitting in that car, broke, living at my friend's house, miserable. Not miserable because I'm staying at my friend's house, but miserable. Um, slightly depressed, just a little bit. <laughs> And just at the bottom, really in the valley. This is my valley situation. This is I. This is my valley. I'm in the valley right now. If you are, if you are some sort of spiritual, you know what the valley is. You have the mountain top, and then the valley. I feel like I'm in my valley right now, but it's okay because I'm climbing my way to the top. I'm climbing to my mountain top, and I'm gonna get there. Be also encouraged. <laughs> But I'm going to end this video because it's coming up on 20 minutes and girl, who even knew the fuck I was talking that long? <laughs> but I love you. I like you. I like you. Keep me in your prayers and I'll keep you in my prayers. And yeah. Peace out. Pussy hole. No. Bye.